Let's jump into today's message. You will know if this reading is for you and how you will know is as I'm saying the fact that you were chosen, you know with every fiber of your being that you were chosen, you were hearing something turn on, you're hearing a bell, a whistle, a ding, a notification, you're hearing a plane, a motorcycles, uh, tires screeching, you're hearing something as I'm saying this intro. So as I'm saying that, it's about to get real. It's about to hit the fan. You guys could be a fire sign. You guys are about to turn it on 1000. And then we have Scorpionic energy, Pluto energy coming in to shake it up like a firecracker. You guys are going to be showing people that trust is a priceless currency and they can either get on board or move to the left. You guys are kicking it up more than a notch. You're turning the heat all the way up. You're about to blow the roof off this bitch. You feel me? You are showing people that trust is a priceless currency. If you cannot trust them, they need to move. You guys are realizing how you cannot trust people and that you're learning to be okay with that. You're also showing people that being chosen, being a healer, being a light worker, being God's protected child, you are not for sale. You're not stooping down. You're not bending the knee. You're not bending to other people's whatever. It's no longer for negotiation. It's not up for negotiation anymore. Because Pluto has come in and made this change so drastic that you're like, you're mad. Okay, you're mad and then you're going to be glad. A lot of this is taking place in your 10th house. So this is like work, peer vibes, people that you work with, people that you collaborate with, people that you go to school with. And drastic change is coming in to remove them because you have a divine purpose. You guys are coming through as the phoenix rising radical acceptance, the firecracker. There have been people that have been constantly on the low trying to invade your space, your gain, your blessings, trying to ride coattails. And God is saying it's a no. It is a no. So Pluto's coming in to make this change so bad, you can't unsee it. Whatever these people are doing, you can't unsee their BS. You're the seer. You feel me? You're like, I can't unsee that. And I'm not going to pretend anymore to not see the red flags. I'm not going to pretend anymore that they're not on some janky, shady shit. I'm not going to pretend anymore. God's chosen are not for sale. So people really want you to be on some other wave. Oh, you shouldn't do this. You should do that. You're going to do your own thing. You're going to campaign for yourself. Period. And you're starting to realize that God or the divine is going to bring you what you need one by one, bit by bit, all day long. As you remove them, here comes another. As you pluck them, here comes another. As you cut them off, here comes another. And you guys are getting better at sifting through Decepticons. They, they pop up like daisies when you're chosen. Because your boundaries are going to be strong. Like Fort Knox. I don't know how strong Fort Knox was, but it's a metaphor. You are showing people, I am not for sale. I am not a sellout. I'm not going to preach one thing and then hang out with whatever. I'm just not going to do it. You are showing people, my trust means everything. You have not earned my trust. You've played my trust. So you got to go. It's about to get real spicy. For all the haters in the back that thought they were flying under the radar, it's about to get spicy because Pluto's coming in and shaking it up like, um, there's a Decepticon back there. Let's look at that because they did some really shady. Everything's being illuminated. 
everything's being illuminated in this period because you have to be prepared for this renewal. This renewal is coming. So Pluto's coming to grab the rest of the garbage. You guys are supposed to be getting back to a space where you feel like joyful, where you feel inspired. You guys are the star. We have hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Comment down below. Hard times are over. 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 That's all she wrote. Hard times are over. Hard times that you don't think you can handle are over. Phoenix, you're rising. I heard an airplane and tires screeching as I was saying chosen. The circus is right outside. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. Comment down below. Positive energy surrounds me. Love, joy, and good fortune await. I am preparing for this renewal. You guys are going through a period of crisis, whether it's big or small. It's so you cannot unsee it. It's going to bring about change. The rest of the little Decepticons that have been throwing little hiccups and wrenches and things, that's coming to an end. 777-222-333. You guys could be 33, 29, 25, 28, 49, 51, 32, 20, or 44. Also got 36. So let me know in the comments. You guys could also be a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But whoever this reading is for, you know that you're chosen. Okay? You know that you are. We also got Mulan for your charms. Like, you guys are unlocking a new power, a new character, which says, My trust is priceless. Trust is a priceless currency. If you're not bringing that to the table and you're giving me crumbs, you have to go. And before, that used to terrify you. Oh my gosh, how if I just have to fire this person or have to get rid of that person, what am I going to do? You don't care anymore. You know that God, the divine, is lighting the way. Period. You guys are building a whole new house. A whole new situation. A whole new bottom floor of stability. Because before everything was really shaky, it was going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like this rocking horse. You felt like, oh, it's going good. Oh, what the hell? It's going bad again. Oh, it's going good. Oh, what the hell? It's going bad again. There was a very important decision that you had to make to love yourself. Because people were tricking you. They were undermining you. They were trying to brainwash you. They were trying to gaslight you. Mostly gaslighting. You bringing something to their attention and they're like, oh, I don't know, that's not happening. It is. You're better than that. You're wiser than that. And you're cutting the shit out of your life. We also have, um, I got this download. That shit is for the birds. Okay, I have this birdhouse here. That shit is for the birds. Whatever they're trying to sell you, you see through it now. Because Pluto has come in and upheavaled it, shook it up, threw it back down on the ground, and said, that's a Decepticon. Mm-hmm. They were wearing a mask like they were a light worker, like they were inspired, like they were chosen, like they were a good human, and they're not. And you might feel like, oh, this is such a, like, this is always like a reoccurring theme. I'm so tired of it. I get it. Trust me. If anyone gets it, I do. I feel like I cannot trust anybody, anybody, anybody. And trust is so priceless to me. It is not even funny. There is no more. Oh, until you F around, I'll trust you. No, 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 no. I'll be cordial. Now you have to earn it. Let me see what you're about. You're going to believe people when they show you the first time. Instead of being enamored or adoring or generous, you're going to believe them the first time when they start acting weird. Okay, you guys, you guys are going to give them the, the benefit of the doubt in the way of if people are talking shit about them before you meet them, you're not going to be like, oh, I heard. You're the intuitive one. Not them. 
you're in tune with your intuition, not them. So you're going to start trusting that when you meet people. And you guys are going to get better and better and better and better and better at that. Somebody here, um, the people that you're around, they can have dogs or pets that they just got and they can barely take care of them. That's like a little red flag to you. Like they can't even take care of this. They can't take care of this business or this business or this job, job code or their work ethic is dog shit. They've been trying to show you like I, I roll with the big dogs. No, you are the big dog. And it's time for you guys to see that. Comment down below. I roll with the big dogs, period. You guys are making a very important decision to cut people that don't have your best interest, that gaslight you all the time. You guys are coming to a stage of completion with that. These people wanted you to believe that there was this divine hand in their life, and it's not. They're walking around like an empty vessel. Um, you guys are about to become very intimidating. Okay? Beast mode. Comment down below, beast mode. The world needs me. The world needs me. You guys are realizing how loved you are by God. That alone melts my heart. You guys are realizing right now. Now, for those of you that are new to my channel, I get my messages from God. And I literally never thought it was okay to say that until I heard Stargirl Anita saying that. I was like, oh, okay, somebody else is saying it. Okay, I'm going to say that because that's what it is. And it's not to offend anybody. It's because that's what it is. That's where I get my messages from. And whoever you have a relationship with as your higher power, you are realizing, whether it's your ancestors, your spirit team, God, the divine, whoever, you are realizing how loved you are, how protected you are. You're seeing how this Pluto situation is playing out and you're like, whoa, that could have gone way left if it weren't for divine intervention. That could have gone way left if it wasn't for God's hand in my life or the universe's hand in my life. You guys are starting to see where there wasn't joy in all areas of your life. I just posted a quote where you cannot fill, continuously fill up other people's cups without filling up your own. And that's what you guys are going to start doing with no apologies. You have your zero, you know what's on deck, your zero, your zero Fs on deck. Comment down below. No more apologies. The apology tour is ended. It's over. You playing nicey-nice with every Decepticon in the land, you're over it. You don't care about their acceptance of you because you can't trust them. And you care about God's acceptance, the universe's acceptance of you. And you're realizing, like, I'm, go I'm going to accept me for me. Instead of being so hard on yourself, you're going to start looking at your really good attributes and empowering those and then looking at what you think your weaknesses are and you're going to start working on them. You guys are being so incredibly blessed right now. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I'm like so excited for you guys. The signs are with you already. Okay. The signs are with you already and you are getting this radical acceptance of yourself, this, these big realizations of yourself, because you have been mending things over and over and over again. You keep getting hurt and dusting yourself back off, staying positive and healing from the heartache. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to heal. I'm going to mend. It's going to be fine. I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to take it one day at a time. That is being recognized. You guys are letting go of an emotional upheaval so you can embrace this renewal and embrace the present. You are fated to light up the world. That's why you're about to blow the roof off this bitch. Comment down below. I am fated. It is my destiny to light up the world, to bring joy to the world. Period. Then we have... As you guys are realizing that you are the phoenix and what that means to you, you are realizing that the world needs you. 
people need your help. They need your assistance. They need your counsel. They need you to mentor or teach them. And so you are looking at how you're going to do that. And you're diving into that task. And normally that might scare the ever living, you know what, out of you. You'd be like, I can't do that shit. <gasps> Start a what? Teach a who? I can't do that. And you're like, no, I'm going to figure it out. Okay, I'll, I'll write a game plan and I'm just going to start. I love that. Then for you guys tapping into your inspiration, you're going to be feeling like you're walking on sunshine. You're going to be so excited. Like, where's my violin? Where's my paintbrush? Where's my camera? You're going to be excited. So excited. You need scratch paper. So excited. You need a notebook because you got so many ideas. And things are finally going right for you. You're starting to see this, not even a pivot, this like the car is getting turned around. Okay. It's like all these people pissed off the divine, pissed off God, pissed off the universe. So you know what they're doing? They're turning this car around. So you're seeing this shift in being obedient from being obedient. You're seeing this shift in accepting what you don't like about yourself, accepting what you need to do better, accepting the fact that sometimes we got to stay still and just take it one day at a time. There's a lot of things that you're working on that you're going to be rewarded for. Rewarded for. So excited. The words are like, Ugh. okay. You guys are realizing that as you are tapping into this joy, being the muse, this inspiration, you are, you are the calm amid a bunch of chaos. All kinds of Decepticon chaos and you're like, that's not me. I'll be over here with my paintbrush. Okay. You guys have limitless possibilities. And as the star, you are realizing that hard times are over. It's time to be brave. And you have the courage. Comment down below. I have the courage. It's time to be brave. There is a hero inside of me. I'm stepping into my purpose. I am ready to shine. I am ready to light up the world. God's chosen are not for sale. Not never. Trust is a priceless currency. You guys have been with me a while. You know that I say that all the time. I freaking love that quote. It's probably my favorite. My absolute favorite. Because I have been betrayed my whole life. My whole life I've had to... Learn how to not people please. I've had to learn how to stand up to people. I've had to learn how to just not just give over my love and my generosity to just whoever because people are standing and waiting and they're dependent on that forgiveness. They're dependent on that generosity. And then they're going to do it again and again and again. There's a lot of takers around you and you're plucking them out one by one because as you step into your divine purpose, this new beginning, this new experience, you're seeing, oh, I can't come in with a chip on my shoulder. I need to know that, like, I got this. It's light work. And take it one day at a time. And as you step into that, there are people everywhere that are going to try to stop you from doing that. Oh, my gosh, who made you whoever? You can't do that. Who said you're chosen? Like, I cannot. I cannot. You guys are starting to be able to sift through who really is of the light and that you need to be around. And you're seeing that it's far and few between. And that might have bummed you out for a little bit. But there were a couple little scragglers, stragglers left. And God's like, oh, 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 oh. Where do they think they're going? Where do they think they're running to? So have the courage to embrace change. Take risks. Be adventurous. Now, I know that can be really scary right now. We are currently in the middle of a Venus retrograde. And you might be like, Brittany, I don't know if I should like launch a business. Maybe don't launch it just yet. Okay, if you're watching this to date, maybe don't launch it yet. Maybe write down all your ideas. And I'm just excited to get this message for you guys that those that have been on the low doing dirt, those that have been on the low invading your privacy, trying to dominate you, trying to sabotage you, they're getting dealt with. They are getting dealt with. It's going to be so bad for them trying to cause obstacles for you. 
trying to turn your sacred contract upside down. Maybe they didn't realize that that's what they were doing. They were definitely in the way. Comment down below. I am the firecracker. I make it hot. I put on a show. And the reason why you come packaged like this is so you can inspire the world. You're a beast. You're a savage. You are the, the big bad wolf of the forest. I keep getting stuff about the lovers. You guys are seeing that there's two paths ahead of you. And you're going to choose the path where you are true to yourself. That's why you're not a sellout. That's why I said God's children are not for sale. God's chosen are not for sale. Okay, that's also from the movie um, Sound of Freedom where they say God's children are not for sale. And I see you guys as that as well because a lot of people, especially if you have a social media business, they're trying to make you think there's no time for rest. There's no time for renewal. You have to be looking like this. You have to be acting like that. Some of you guys could be 25 or 18 years old. You guys could be seeing feathers, but I'm getting a lot of fire because you guys are turning up the heat all the way. Hard times are over. Tell your friends, okay? The ones you got left, hard times are over. Let me reintroduce myself. I make it hot, okay? Let me reintroduce myself. I make it hot. I light up the world. So beautiful. So yeah, you're looking at the two paths. You're like, mm, do I want to be fake, fraudulent, phony, baloney, and full of applesauce? No. Or do I want to be my most authentic self, even though that is uncharted territory and I'm just going to try to figure it out? Level up. You guys are grounding your psychic abilities. You are grounding your abilities that, that you've been given. And you are ready for this level up because you are passing the test. Comment down below. I am ready for the Garden of Venus. You guys are going to be feeling, um, if you're watching this to date, little sidebar. If not, ignore this part. You guys are starting to see that even though Venus is in retrograde, it's in do to do you're still being supported. It is coming in weird ways though. Whoever this message is for, you're seeing that like, you're still dealing with like, like upheavals and the retrograde energy, but then it like fixes itself and you're like, yay. Okay. So it's like, everything's working out in your favor. It's like a shakeup and then it's like smooth sailing, depending on how you handle, you're handling it and you're handling it like a boss. Okay. You're releasing the shame. That people tried to place on you. This is like you standing up for yourself. And people are like, oh, you know, like, you shouldn't have said that like that. That's not what they did. The people that are like you are going to think that what you did was right. The people that are going to ride with you, okay, the people that are showing that they're not a Decepticon, they're not going to be enraged by what you're telling them. Like, hey, you know, I was planning on working with Veronica over here and I just, it just went bad. And then I brought this to their attention and they just made me feel like an idiot. Like, that's not happening. The people that are for you at this time, people that could possibly be part of your soul tribe, they're going to have similar experiences and they're going to think the same thing. Like, you know what? That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not, that's not okay. They're not going to have this rage. So you are releasing, re, what? You are releasing the shame in standing up for yourself. Like, is there could be these little minions that are like, oh my God, what did you, what did you say? Nobody talks to Veronica like that. And you're like, um, I wasn't talking to Veronica crazy. I was just telling her. I don't appreciate that. That's fraudulent. That's phony. And I'm going to walk away. I'm going to have to let you go. I'm going to have to back out of this. They're like, oh. you guys are using your discernment like you ain't never used it before because Pluto has come in to shake it up. And now you are at a stage of completion and you're so grateful. You're like, oh my gosh, like 
You could have been so mad at first that this person betrayed you. These people betrayed you. And now you're laughing. You're like, what a loser. <laughs> they wanted to throw me under the bus. They wanted to smear my name. They thought it was going to get them somewhere. It got them nowhere. But you out of their life. And now they're left with the rest of the hyenas. Like they thought it was going to help them lead the hyena pack. Like in freaking the Lion King. And you guys could be dealing with some toxic masculine energy. And I'm just seeing that you guys are in an echo chamber of gratitude. You guys are feeling really like enchanted right now. I'm hearing life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You guys could be eating chips right now. <laughs> if you are, let me know what type you're eating. But somebody here is eating chips. Um, somebody here is eating snacks. Somebody here could be putting tea of uh, honey in their tea. Yeah, you guys are ready to illuminate the world. Comment down below. I am of divine lineage. You guys have this glowing light. And I'm also getting that there were some people that were trying to like, if you guys are in the spiritual community, there might have been some people that were trying to psychically attack you and you could feel that. And now you guys are figuring out ways to protect your crown, protect yourself from evil eye and spiritual warfare. So now when they try to reach for your energy or they try to enter your, your situation in the dream state, guess what? They're lost. They see fog. They see clouds. They see smoke. They're like, I can't find them. There are people that want to make you gain weight, that want to make you eat something crazy, do something crazy. And you guys are so in tune and you're balanced. You're like, okay, let me calm down. I know I'm excited about this or I know I'm really in, I want to get this started. But you're just grounding your abilities. You are staying grounded, which um, can be really hard for a fire sign. And you guys are getting it done. You guys are keeping it cute. You're keeping it private. You're keeping it humble. Everyone else needs to zip it. Your silence is golden right now. But even though that your silence is golden, it doesn't mean that you're not going to tell people where to go. Whoever um, is doing this the most to you, their initial could be, they could have N in their initials, or this could be a spirit guide that's trying to come through. Okay? Okay. So let's see what else we got. We get for you guys. I'm just seeing there's a lot that you guys are mending. You guys are um, going to be really feeling yourself and you're going to be shocked because the, the transit that's going on right now, Venus is taking a freaking beauty nap. So you're just excited that you're not feeling like completely, you know, you're not feeling upset or extremely discouraged. You guys are learning how to conceal what you're doing. So someone here could be an overshare, overshare on social media, and you guys are learning not to do this anymore because there's so many people that want to emulate what you're doing. And you never wanted to like really think about it this way because you didn't want to seem like you were full of yourself. But what I'm seeing is that you're understanding that you do need to conceal a lot of the things that you're doing. Some people think that you have more money than you have because of the way that you present yourself. Okay. Like I laugh when people think they know what I'm doing or what I'm up to because I, I look at myself as like ghetto fabulous period. And I like to keep it private, cute and humble. And I just, you know, like I've had to start over many, many times. Okay. Many times. I've been homeless many times. Had to sleep in a car. Didn't have a place to sleep. I've been um, in my addiction. I am in my sobriety now for those of you guys that are new. But I let my addiction rule my life for a very long time. To where I just didn't... I didn't conceal a lot. I didn't um, take good care of myself. It also messed with my abilities... And you guys are just realizing that people that want to air out maybe your past, those are the things that you're putting on Front Street. It's like Eminem and 8 Mile. 
I do live in a trailer with my mom. So what? But everything that you're currently doing and you're building, they don't know anything. They don't know anything. Comment down below. Silence is golden. You are unplugging the information about your current status. You are unplugging anything you're building for the future going forward. You're like, I never said anything about that. What? What? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm getting for you guys. You guys are clearing out. You guys are clearing things out. People want to judge you. You don't care. I am also getting that something has happened with the warnings that your bigger enemies have been getting. And they don't even want to say anything when people bring up your name. Okay, so I got this in a download. I didn't write it down because I ran out of paper space. Anyways, what I was being shown is some of your bigger enemies, they've been dealing with some karmic crazy situations. So what they've been doing is when people go up to them and they're like, yeah, I ride for so-and-so. I really like so-and-so being you. These people aren't saying anything where normally they would talk a bunch of shit. They would inject insert inject insert smear okay like insert ugly crying face like insert the smear they're not saying anything they're shook up okay you guys are putting together the crown that you deserve you guys are learning to see yourself and others doesn't mean that you're being their friend you are realizing that you can manifest your every wish and you're going to take your time i like this because you guys are becoming more grounded in what you try to manifest you're not like, ah, oh, I should have been had that. Where is it at? But where is it at, though? You guys are starting to realize, like, hold up. I don't need all of these things right now. And I'm starting to see why I didn't obtain a lot of those things all at once. I love that for you guys. You're like, I know that I'll get that further down the road. You guys are learning about sacrifice. Sacrifice for the greater good. You guys are ready to heed the call. You're like, there's a hero inside of me. I've got to help people. And I really need to start working on myself and figuring out, like, how am I going to do that? You're figuring out what your objection for life is. You're not giving up. And a lot of these people are shocked that you have not given up. These people couldn't take you out if they tried. Comment down below. I defy gravity. I defy the odds. I am being uplifted. I am untouchable. Yeah. These people, they, it's almost like there's this heat wave that flow towards them. Anytime they're thinking about doing something stupid or saying something stupid about you, you guys are learning how to disengage. Like, no, trust. my trust is priceless. Trust is priceless to me. I'm a healer. I'm a helper. And I'm not just going to give that uh, to people that don't give a, a you-know-what. Like, you being kind is enough. People that are like, I want what I want. I'm bored. Uh, there's been some people, like, telling you lies. And that's going to bother you. OK, you guys are learning about some people's deception and you are feeling emotionally connected. So it's almost like as people are texting you things, this is what I'm being shown. You guys are texting back and forth with people and you can like hear their thoughts or you're texting back and forth with people and you can feel what they're feeling. And you're like, mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. So you guys are very heart centered right now. And this is the second card I got about you guys being a firecracker. You guys are becoming very assertive, but you're doing it in the sweetest way. But even though you're doing it in the sweetest way, people are like, oh, what did they say to me? Oh my gosh, like I have the chills. I got the chills. You guys are dead on. Comment down below. My gifts are spot on. I am restoring faith in my abilities. Some Somebody here... Um, is mad that your glow up is so intense 
and whatever little wrenches they were throwing in it, it it's not working. So somebody could have been trying to target you or they had befriended you at first and then you became the target. It's almost like... <laughs> It's almost like when you guys meet people, they're like, oh my gosh, they're going to be my best friend. And then once they figure out like how amazing you are through your core, you're like mother freaking Teresa to them. They're like, I can't be friends with that bitch. <sighs> they're just mad. They're mad. Like not everyone gets the bag the same. Okay. Not everyone gets the bag the same. Not everyone reads tarot the same. Not everyone is a light worker the same. Not everyone is the same type of star messenger. Not everyone does everything the same. You feel me? You guys are about to reject a lot of people. You're about to cut cords with a lot of people. Drop your scissors down below. Your cutoff game is strong. And people are, they don't even know what to say about your cold hard truth. Anything that feels like a strained situation to you, anything that's just not working out, you're going to remove it. This could be you guys breaking up with people, rejecting people, divorcing people. You are realizing like, no, this is no longer negotiable. No, it's not happening. I'm the final word. You are releasing baggage that you have to be nice to so-and-so because they did you a favor or two, but you can't trust them. Trust is a priceless currency. Some people had you effed up. So they need to get ready because it's about to get spicy. You guys are going through a level up in your reputation with your work. Okay, so you're getting a level up in how you guys work. You're getting inspired like it's a new wave. A totally new vibe for your work ethic and what's going on at your job. You guys are realizing, like, I'm ready for anything. You guys are going to be getting so many ideas. Definitely get pen and paper. Some of you guys are going to be getting um, your ideas through dreams. And there, all of this stuff is going to come in so fast that you might feel like you're going to forget it easily. So even if it's just, like, keywords, you guys are going to start writing things down. So you guys are going to be getting a lot of ideas on your staying power, how to stay around for the long haul. Now, it is part of your destiny. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. But you're learning like, this is part of my destiny. I'm unbreakable. So you're going to be getting a lot of ideas on how to stay there, how to secure your spot in being the star messenger and helping the collective or whatever you do as someone that's chosen. You guys are figuring out like, no, I do have backbone. Okay, that wasn't that scary. I am unbreakable. I have staying power. I have true grit. You guys are going through a level up in your emotional IQ. You're going through a level up in friendship. You guys are going through a level up in romance and in how people appreciate you. You guys could be a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. I'm seeing that you guys are a dreamer, but for a long time you felt shame or guilt around being a dreamer because people might have thought like oh nobody does that that's not going to go anywhere you're never going to make money doing that well you're going to be securing your bag in a different way also something that i'm seeing that somebody needs to hear um i don't know how many of you you're going to start doing different techniques to see to show yourself that you are worthy of securing your future this way making money this way, monetizing your gifts. So what you're not, what maybe you weren't realizing, and this is for however many of you need to hear this, you were like, manifest, I got to manifest, I got to manifest, I got to manifest this. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? And then you're realizing like, ooh, I never really truly thought I was worthy of that. But it's deeper than that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like, if you had to imagine for 17 seconds like that, um, law of assumption trick if you had to imagine for 17 seconds that you were an absolute bliss of everything you were trying to bring into your life and it was hard for you to do at first you're realizing like oh shit i thought i deserved this but i hadn't really ever sat with it and envisioned what it would look like an absolute bliss if i had these things 
there were certain things in regards to your purpose. I don't mean like a car manifestation. I don't mean like a, you know what I mean? I mean like your future and like your destiny. When you really sat back and thought about it, like why am I not getting more recognition? Why am I not getting noticed? You hadn't sat with the fact that you truly deserved to monetize this gift. Help people in this way. Actually be noticed or deserve to be noticed. So that's what you guys are going to be working on is I deserve to sit with the fact that I can do this. I deserve to have this and I want to know what that looks like. So you're going to start practicing seeing yourself this way, seeing yourself as the CEO or the boss of being the motivational star messenger of the world. So each and every one of you guys are unlocking that in different ways. But somebody here is going to start sitting with the fact that they deserve that instead of people pleasing or thinking that they're not enough or thinking that they can't have this. It's no longer buttoned up or kept away from you that that you deserve this. Like you're realizing like, wait, I do deserve this. Okay, map fell on the ground. And I'm hearing a motorcycle. So what that's telling me is confirmation. This is uncharted territory for you. You are seeing things from a new perspective. So that's confirmation there and confirmation out there that you guys are going to be seeing things from a new perspective. Like, well, dang, I never thought about myself like that. Like really and truly, I've been writing it down and saying it, but you hadn't really been sitting with it and what it looks like to you if you were on top of the world like that. You feel me? So comment down below. I'm on top of the world, okay? I am a trendsetter. I am an entrepreneur. Comment down below. I'm bringing sexy back. People might be thinking like, oh, you cannot be a sexy star messenger. You need to pipe down. Nah, 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 nah. You're about to be a confident visionary more than you've ever been. You're seeing like what looks good for you. I feel like there's certain aesthetics that you've been burning through like, oh, I want to I want to dress like this. I want to look like that. I want to be like this. I want to speak like that. You're figuring out your brand and how you can be the most unique to yourself. And so you are emotionally opening up. You are diving deep into this task on being a visionary, being the catalyst for change, being energetic, being outgoing, creative, ruthless, courageous, and strong-willed. And you're like, oh, I, I'm starting to see, you're, you're starting to see yourself. If you guys have seen Avatar, where they say to each other, like, I see you. And that means, like, I see you, like, inside, outside, like, I, I get you, I understand you. With all of my heart, all of my soul, I understand you. This is how you're seeing yourself. I don't know if it's going to be through footage, a video, somebody showing you a picture, a dream, a memory, but you're going to see yourself as if it was somebody else seeing you. You're going to see your inner child. You're going to see your higher self. You're going to see the version of you now. And you're going to be so sweet and so gentle, and but yet so courageous and how you're going to live your best and build the aesthetic that you've always wanted. I'm freaking excited for you guys. That's so cute. Like, you're just like, I see you. But you're speaking to yourself like, I see you. Like, I see you, girl. We got this. I see you, boy. We got this. You know? What you're doing behind the scenes takes true grit. My stomach's growling. Apologies. Um, and you guys are starting to see that you deserve this romantic ending. What does that look like for me? I, I deserve to make my daydreams come true. What does that look like? What does that look like? You guys are returning to a state of playfulness. You're building a better foundation. And even though you're inexperienced, you're ready for this new beginning. I want you guys to, if you guys are doing some inner child healing, I want you guys to get 
or purchase two things that you were not allowed to purchase or could not afford as a child. I don't care if it's candy. I don't care if it's a ring pop, whatever it is. And then I want you guys to watch a movie that just really, that you really loved as a child. Okay, so that is your guys' homework. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I was not allowed to have a mood ring. Guess what I got? A freaking mood ring. I wanted that. I was like, I never, I always wanted a mood ring. My mom's like, <laughs> never, 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 never. And I'm not saying I was oppressed because of it. I was oppressed because of other shit and the abuse and being neglected and malnourished and all the other things that I dealt with as a child. But that's something that I really wanted. And then even when I worked for it and had a job, it, the answer was still no. No, you don't need that. That's junk. That's tacky. That's gaudy. It was anything that I ever wanted. This is a narrative that I've had to get over. Is It's gaudy. It's tacky. It's ugh. So um, I always felt bad for the things that I wanted to obtain. I always felt bad for like reaching for things that I worked hard for. So I was like, you know, what? I'm going to do that for myself. I'm going to get a mood ring because I freaking want to. Period. So I challenge you guys to do that. Because all of this renewal, this renewal business, it's happening soon. It's unfolding right now, if not this week. Whoever I'm speaking to, you feel it. You are starting to feel more fulfilled with the, the smallest things. You are learning how to fill up your cup first instead of everyone else's and doing and doing and doing. And then you're realizing for the one or two people that are in your life that are like unbreakable, you have this unbreakable bond with. You are really going to start writing for them like you ain't never rode before. You're going to be gifting them things, loving on them, praising them. Someone here is also going to be doing a lot of like dreaming. Okay, I keep getting things about like astral travel. And you guys are going to be seeing things from a different perspective. You guys, I got the Phoenix again. This is your rebirth. This is your transformation. Comment down below. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Don't feel bad that you're getting rid of people, you guys. I had to fire like three people just this last week. People that I wanted to work with that it's not working because they were either deceitful or um, gaslighting or whatever. And maybe back in the day, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I I'll just wait. I'll just wait. No, fuck all that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. If I've wasted money and I have invested and it has to do with my shit, get fucked. I'm not putting up with that. So I had to put people where they go all last week. Putting people where they go. Oh, thought this was going to work out. You're going to let me down. You're going to pretend you didn't do anything. You're not going to take any accountability. Bye. Bye. Because I'm the wrong one. Always been the wrong one. But I'm definitely the wrong one now. You feel me? There were some people that like just I had been helping them and helping fill up their cup and they just weren't giving anything back. And it's like, you know what? This isn't going to work because you can't even fill up your own cup. I'm trying to put it pouring into you. You're definitely not pouring into me. So what are we going to do? It's a new era. Pluto's come in to destroy it, to upheaval it, to remove it. And now there's a new wave of new helpers, new associates. Like, having to fire associates and people you're collaborating with, like, that sucks. But I don't have time to waste. Life is precious and it is short on this spiritual training ground. And I am not going to waste it with people that don't give a you-know-what, that don't really care about their work. I'm just not going to do it anymore. And that's one thing I've been working on. So that could be you guys too. You could be working on relationships with people and how you see people and how you make connections, who you're going to collaborate with, who is going to be an associate, who you want to go to school with, who you want to take classes with. Um, who do you want to bring on your level up? That's what you're realizing. And some people try to play you like a fool. Thinking like, oh, they can't see me. They can't see me. Um, you've been intuitive the whole time. I don't know what they thought this was, but no. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, an Aquarius, a Scorpio. But yeah, let me know in the comments because yeah, this is crazy. It's been a crazy week for those that I feel that are chosen. Like it's like the last wave of Decepticons. It's like that boat is ready. And they all better get on it. The trash is going to be taken out itself or it's going to be a... The scissors are out. They got to go. They can't stay. No, they can't. Because they're full of it. You guys, I hate when people try to play me for a fool. Trust is priceless. Don't play with me. Not never. I'm the wrong one. Okay? Comment down below. I'm the wrong one. Always been the wrong one. So let's get you guys out some charms. Okay, maybe not that many. Always be pulling too many. Okay. Yeah, you guys, there's a rat in the mix. See this little, see that little? No, no, no. Mousetrap, there's a rat here. Your guys' life is about to get sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Like the cherry on top is coming. Things have been getting better and you're starting to see that. Someone here could be buying a dog. Someone here could be getting an animal. Like a nice little companion. Oh, the Ten of Cups, you guys, look. The Ten of Cups, someone here is going to be celebrating. You guys are going to be celebrating a lot of wins this week. And you might even see like, okay, I know this isn't um, permanent. Like you're seeing that you're going to shift and that you're going to shift again. That is how like mind blowing some of this is for you. You're like, ooh, I'm seeing that this person could replace this associate. Probably only going to be temporary. That's okay. And I'll make it work when that, when this doesn't work. But you're just seeing where you're putting band-aids and you're seeing where you're going to make real moves and you're going to really start vetting people properly. I love this. Comment down below. My Ten of Cups is here. It's here. I am ready to celebrate. Okay, I am ready to celebrate. We have the acorn. So that makes me think of like big trees. What you're doing is like growing roots. It's growing roots. Yeah, I'm getting that you guys are one of a kind. You're one in a million. Okay, someone here could have the initials V or N. Okay, we have judgment. Holy cow. We have judgment and the 10 of swords in reverse. There is, this is a wake up call for you guys. You're just seeing like, I see what I need to do now. And I see where I've been too trusting. I would love to have a great group of friends, but that's going to take time. That's okay. And you guys are representing the lightning bolt. I feel like this is your masculine energy. You're becoming the divine masculine, but you're also becoming the divine feminine. You are understanding both sides of the spectrum. You are feeling grounded and more balanced. You are feeling more clear. You, you feel like you have more clarity and you guys can really see people clearly like even through messages or emails, like you guys can feel their intentions. And so you're going to start trusting where you need to set boundaries with people. You're not going to let people play with you. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, let's get out one more card of advice for you guys, for your beautiful, beautiful message. You guys are coming out of the darkness. If you guys have been in dark night of the soul, that shit's ending. If you guys felt like you've been in winter, winter is over. The sun is coming. Okay, you guys are going to be tapping into your cosmic power. Give me one more. Fearless love. Holy shit. Okay, remember when I told you guys you guys are going to blow the roof off of this shit? And remember when I told you guys that um, you're like on fire? You're like the firecracker. We have Oshun. That embodies like been there, done that, got the t-shirt. That embodies I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because Oshun, I mean like look, 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 look. You guys are like, yeah, I mean, I know I'm a little bit different, but I'll be feeling myself. I'll be feeling myself. You guys are going to be feeling really confident. Yes. I'm so here for it. So remember, trust is a priceless 
currency. You are ready to love fearlessly, but you see people, you see them, you see them. People are not going to be able to scam you like that anymore. And even though other people might be getting scammed, they're not going to be able to do that to you. And people are going to be looking at you like, how are they not getting scammed? Because you guys have these secrets because you were truly chosen on how to deal with this, how to deal with Decepticons in a completely different way that other people haven't even thought of yet. Okay, so like say you guys are a tarot reader or um, you have a social media business for uh, a spiritual business and you're seeing people get scammed in the comments and scammed here and scammed there. Like you guys are coming up with ideas on how to deal with these people without like having to really deal with them. You guys are going to be inventing a lot of things. This is a big wake up call for you guys that even though it felt like these people were coming in and they were destructive because they were, I'm seeing that these Decepticons you guys were dealing with specifically were destructive to themselves. So they were in turn destructive to you. They were not able to come in and fill up your cup because they weren't even properly taking care of themselves. And now that this renewal is coming in, uh, Pluto is coming in to be like, what you said? Oh, you got to go. You got to go. Ancestor said, lights out, street lights are out, it's time to go home. Trust is a priceless currency. You are ready to blow the roof off of this. Okay, you're keeping it a buck, you're keeping it 1,000, you're coming through like a Scorpio, very like, I'll sting your ass, watch the f out. And yeah, you are not for sale. People are trying to make it seem like you're for sale, like they could buy you and do whatever. They can't. It's not happening. And that's why the shakeup is here. Your Ten of Cups is here. You are waking up to what does this Ten of Cups look like for me? What should that entail? This is your ascension. This is your resurrection. Damn. I'm just saying you guys are going to be feeling good. Like maybe normally you guys are really hard on yourself. Like, oh, everything is not supposed to be. It's supposed to be perfect. And I get that, you guys. When people try to play with me and it like messes with anything I'm working on, we're about to have a real problem, like a big problem. So I understand where you guys can feel disappointed, like what the heck? I thought we were going to be working together, coexisting together, being associates, going into business, whatever it is. But that, that Pluto had to come through to show you like, oh, no, 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 we're not working with these people because they're not forever. They're not the long run. They're not the legacy they're not longevity. They can't even take care of this over here. So how are they supposed to? No, 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 no. And now you guys are seeing this. You're ready to heed the call. You guys are going to be showing heroic effort and defying gravity. God's chosen are not for sale. Though some people might think they are. They are not. Okay, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comments. Yeah. And don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation. Mine today will be, I choose authenticity over perfection, okay? Because I can be like, ugh, when I'm trying to like do stuff for work and no need to do that. Just got to calm down and say, I choose my authenticity over perfection. You guys are going to be dealing with some hiccups, but you're going to be handling them with so much grace, okay? And yeah, so let me know what's going on. Don't forget to smash the, you know what, hit the bell. Duh. You guys don't, you don't want to miss out. You guys know I be posting sporadically. So just hit the bell. Okay. Do us all a favor. And if you guys are looking for pick a card content, that is exclusively for Patreon. Pick a cards are on Patreon. I post every weekend and I do four to five pick a cards on that platform. Plus almost personal readings. And what else? Oh, it's only 11, 11 a month. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for all of your beautiful comments. Thank you guys for your cash app donations. They don't go unnoticed. And I'm just sending you guys all of my love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. You should never roll, roll all the dice without a hand It's make, it's make a break when you never did stand a chance Tell me, stop, don't you tell us so how you actually feel